Let's consider the case when we have irregular boundary like this. Um, in this case when we are uh, considering the difference equation in for example this point then we don't have the same discretization length here as here um, and not uh, always uh, the same in this two direction also. Um, so then we have to develop different equations for such cases. Uh, in, in the um, normal situation when we have the same discretization length, uh, we recall that uh, we had, if we had, we, we, if we stay in the point O and to the right we have the point A and in the north we have the point B and to the west we have the point F and in the south we have the point Q. Then the uh, values UA plus UB plus UP plus U, U, uh, Q minus 4 times the value in the point where we are standing divided to the square of H is approximately equal to the Laplacian operator. And uh, we recall that we have this uh, scheme. Uh, we can associate this equation with uh, this scheme where this f is the uh, value of the Laplacian. So that's in the case of Poisson equation. We recall we have, we have uh, been considering this uh, earlier. And uh, h is the discretization length. So what we are doing is that we are multiplying the value we, uh, we are standing in by minus 4. This is what we mean by this. And the value to the right by 1. The value uh, to the north by 1. To the west by 1. And the south by 1. And adding all these. Uh, and what we get is um, that this is equal to f the square of h. In the case when we have irreg irregular uh, boundary, boundaries, we have to um, consider a more general situation like this. If we, for example, multiply this h with uh, some parameter a, uh, this length uh, from the pa uh, point where we are standing to a by uh, is then a h. Similarly, this length is b h, this length is p h, this length is q h. Then it's possible to show by using the exact same method as we used uh, using uh, Taylor expansion that uh, um, the Laplacian is e is approximately equal to uh, this uh, more complicated expression. So here we have replaced this one coefficients here by uh, a star, uh, b star as you see here, p star, q star and o star. So in the case when when a, b, p and q are equal to 1, we have the regular case. And in this uh, case, uh, these uh, um, coefficients are equal to 1, and this coefficient is equal to minus 4. So in the general situation, we get this scheme. And uh, by using this scheme, we are able to uh, solve any problem with irregular uh, boundaries. And we don't have to um, uh, have equal length uh, on uh, each of these small squares or rectangles. We are going to consider one example just to show you uh, how, how this can be used. 